Hey everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back in for another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last episode, we did do a ton of side questing and got wrapped up with Margaret and the lion and the tiger and the zebra. We also went and finished up doing Strauss's mission where he wanted us to go and collect money for him again. I gotta say that Strauss's missions are never easy, but that one with the white panther was just probably by far the worst and scariest side quest that I have done so far. Today, I'm actually looking forward to jumping back into the main storyline and seeing what is up with these families in the Rhodes area. I know that Dutch asked us to go and see what the Grey's Manor looks like, kind of, I guess, eavesdrop a little or walk around their farm and try to get some information about the family. So I'm definitely excited to jump back into the main storyline today and see where it takes us. So I think my guns, I'm glad that it started me here because it reminded me. <laughs> I think my guns got wonky because I picked up Midnight's pistol. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and redo my guns real quick. All right, that should, that should do it. All right. I guess like when you pick up another gun, it just resets your preference, evening. which kind of stinks, but done, it's fine. Fine. Good evening to you. Go fishing with you me, know, Javier. I'm sorry about Jenny. Sure. Arthur. Me too. I know you were sweet on her. <laughs> Was it that obvious? <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty obvious. I made sure we buried it carefully. Goodbye, fair. I didn't know Pearson saying. What? Quiet, John. The dreadnoughts, her name. Hurrahmy boys, we're bound to Oh, today's outfit is definitely inspired by Sadie. She got my she got my next outfit. Very much like I wanted to look exactly like her. The shirt definitely turned out a little bit more like orangey yellow than that one, so I think I might have to get a brighter yellow, but I also do not have the same like brown bell bottoms that she has. Can I not get stew? Why not? I can get coffee. It didn't even say that like I had it for the day. Oh, that stinks. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just relax for the night. And then in the morning, we'll probably go take a bath and then go and see the greys. But I feel like we should probably be like dressed better and not smelly to go and meet potential new friends or clients or whatever is about to happen. Ooh, we have some hair pomade. Can't pick up the health care. I think Micah and John just got into it. Morgan, have a nice evening. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Micah and John. This is John, right? Why don't you sit a while? What an idiot! He just gets under my skin. Well, you're giving him what he wants then. All right. Well, I should be getting on. Sounds Sad good. I missed it. There he is. You want to sit down, Arthur? Every time we go to sit down, they get up. Oh, okay, well, Charles was going to sit. I'll sit with Charles for a minute. We can read our journal. You good? I think so. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything new. I thought there was like another one. Yeah, this one. The weird English guy gave me a pretty decent emerald as payment. Maybe he wasn't so bad after all. Okay. For some reason, like, it skips that sometimes. And this one, too. 
After hunting the zebra was a donkey and a tiger. That was a cougar. And another lion that was just a dog. Or I think that's right. I think I lost track of the whole thing. And an assistant that's a real woman. And him a strange English maniac in a dress pretending to be all that he isn't. Remind yourself never to go on stage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why it like skips that part for me. It's very weird. It makes me nervous that like I'm missing journal parts because it gets weird sometimes. Did we see this? Oh, wow, we drew road. I think we saw maybe the drawing of roads. The drunk, which is most of them, are angrier still. So turns out we're holed up outside of a town called Rhodes, deep in old cotton country. The place has not recovered from the war, and these folks that is sober enough to think are still angry. The drunk, which is most of them, are angrier still, but perhaps for another reason. According, adding to the absurdity, we appear to be planning to deputize ourselves into the local law enforcement. We definitely didn't read that last time. And we've already taken down a major bouncy on their behalf, but mostly to rescue slippery old Trelawney, who had gotten himself arrested for some of his usual nonsense. Seems like there is a long-running blood feud between two families here, and both Dutch and Hosea believe they may be sitting on a lot of gold. Best stretch my legs. <laughs> I love that Charles just like got up and left. I've been looking through the journal to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because I feel like some of my pages are sticking together or something. <laughs> and he was like, I'm going to stretch my legs. That's actually really Hi cool. There. Oh my god, and uncle's here. <laughs> That's really cool. It's like they, they didn't want to be rude. All right, let's go ahead and get some sleep. In the morning, we're going to set out, probably go take a dip in the lake <laughs> to get clean, and then we'll go and meet up with the greys. There's Kieran waiting to go fishing again. <laughs> Poor guy. I should probably go fishing with him, honestly. I should. Alright, let's go ahead and eat some breakfast. And we'll go ahead and head right out before things get crazy here and I never leave. But now, I think I'm going to take a Pona and I down over to this lake and just do some wading in the lake to get clean this morning. There's Micah. Good morning, Arthur. Mr. Bell. Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. Okay. <laughs> okay. so foggy out in the morning. Alright. Should be nice and clean now. And we should go ahead and feed a Pona too. You know we have a bunch of carrots. Yeah. Yeah, you're a strong one, boy. All right, so I'm gonna head towards the town and probably just like pass through it. See if there's anything going on over there. Oh, I cannot see. It's a blinding morning light. Kinda looks like that tree is like painted, but I think it's just dead.
Easy now. You made a mistake taking me, but it ain't too late. Let me go, and there's no bad blood. How you doing, boy? No bad blood. <laughs> oh, he's about to shoot him. More than 40 years of bad blood between you and us. Maybe more. What are we gonna do with him? <laughs> Leave him alone. But now, he's worth more when he's breathing. You're a disgrace to Lemoyne. A lot of you. I was gonna save him. I don't care what he's worth. There you don't boy. disrespect the cause like that. You youngins sure get fired up and stupid, don't you? I was gonna save him, but I was too late. All right, well, I think we should go ahead and murder them. Disrespected. The cows. Go. Abona, get out of here. Get. Hat off. There's one more. All right. I feel so bad now because that guy definitely died, and I could have stopped it, but I thought they were gonna let him go. I just don't know when to stop. Yeah, I feel bad, but. Next time we'll be faster. I'm gonna go ahead and loot this area real quick. Lemoyne Raider's letter. William, I'm writing to let you know our raids against the Jaw Jayhawkers in Lawrence, Kansas have been successful. There are many times since we set out on this campaign that I doubted there was a God who loved us. But today I have a glimmer of hope. That they call us Lemoyne Raiders, bushwhackers, and border ruffians does not dismiss diminish our fight for a free state and to be free from the incursions of northerners set on changing our way of life. I hope you'll continue to work to recruit more young men to our cause here in Lemoyne. We will ride through their ranks and smite down the oppressors. History is not over and shall be rewritten. It's always darkest before dawn. They believe in their cause. Sincerely, William Marcus Anderson. Wow. They definitely believe in their cause. It really sucks that that guy had to die. Medical box. They're definitely very um, organized. They're forming a military. Like, they've definitely... They're getting more men the more that they go. It's... I mean, I guess it's a good thing for outlaws, but... It's also one of the reasons why all of that stuff, all of these outlaws are getting pushed out of this area. Even faster, because it's chaos. Chaos in the streets. There's like a broken apart gun here. Like he was cleaning it. That's actually really cool. <laughs> oh my God, Arthur. I don't know why I think that's cool. All right, sometimes there's like a, uh, like a cigarette card on the wagons. Yeah, it's not here. Oh, don't mean to pick him up. Nope, don't want to do that. Okay, we're doing it. Wonder whose house that is. Have we been to that estate yet? 
Is that the one where we robbed them already? I don't know. We'll have to go take a look after. Alright. I don't see anything else here. That poor guy. We could have stopped it. <laughs> we definitely could have stopped it. Oh, there's premium cigarettes sitting there. Cocaine gum. Yeah, nah. But there are some premium cigarettes. Nice. And we got a horse card. American Standard Bread. Do we have that one already? I don't actually remember if we picked that one up already. Okay, there's tonic, but we can't take that. There's a hat over there. Not really interested. More hats. I'm going to go see what this is over here. We can open this? I walked by it, but... Oh, okay. Sneaky. Ooh, aged pirate rum. I feel like the pirate rum we can't drink because we already have enough. So I wonder if it's like worth any money. Yeah, it gives you stamina. And we have full stamina. So I wonder if you can sell it. For money, maybe? But, alright. Let's go. We found our cigarette card. There is... No, I'm not going to loot the officer. I feel bad that we... Missed the opportunity to save him. But let's go and check out this house over here. See if it's the one that we've been to already. Probably go to the front in case there's someone here. I don't think we've been here. This doesn't look familiar at all. This is a mess. Cocaine gum. There's an apple. Canned meat. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen can oh canned corned beef. Okay. Doesn't specify what kind of meat. <laughs> Canned salmon. We already have a lot of that. Go ahead and eat some of this corned beef. Ooh, premium cigarettes. Nice. What card did we get? Prominent Americans. Harvey Griggs. We haven't gotten him yet. Railroad Speculator. Nice. I'm surprised we're not close to getting like a single set yet. I am wildly surprised. We picked up so many cigarettes. There's just so many of them. All right, we searched that, we searched that. What's in here? Like it's shining, like we can get to it, but maybe I like shoot it or something? It's actually pretty wild that you can shoot a cabinet and it shows like the, the glass breaking. All right. I don't know how to get to that. I guess I just can't. What's this? Jewelry? Small billfold? Ooh, that was like a crafting jewelry. Hair tonic. And there's a coin purse in here. 
Required an ingredient to craft a bison horn talisman. Nice. Nothing in the cupboards. Snake oil. Open revolver cartridges. Okay. And some rifle cartridges. Okay. Oh, we can search the drawer more. Gun oil. I guess we could clean one of our guns. Yeah, let's go ahead and clean this one. Look at those fancy gloves in there. Alright, we'll go ahead and take the gun oil now. Okay. Some shells. I think that's it. Nothing under the bed? Sometimes people put stuff under their bed. There's one more room to check in this house. Oh, a couple more. Oh, the fire's going. Is that like a chicken bone? <laughs> I'm surprised no one's in here. It seems like people like have been in this area. Nothing in this room? Oh, we can search the cupboard over here. Or the cabinet. Sorted biscuits, coffee, and crackers. Okay. Oh my goodness. Ugh, this room is gross. <gasps> Look at that hat. Is that like our hat? We can't swap. Miracle tonic. Okay. I think that's it in here. Oh, it looks so gross in here. I'm going to head out the back way and see if there's anything out here. Just like, looks like an outhouse. Maybe some herbs? No, nothing growing in the garden. <laughs> if that even is a garden, I think it's just... This house was obviously very poorly taken care of. <laughs> Alright, nothing out here. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the, all of the cigarettes that I picked up real quick and then we'll be on our way. Yep. All right. Oh, found some random stuff today. Easy, easy. Some random good stuff. But let's go ahead and head over to... Um, we already took like a bath and we haven't really gotten anything. Oh no, we're all bloody now, aren't we? All right, let's go take a bath real quick and then we'll go visit the graves. Idiot. We had like blood all over us from killing those guys over there. And I accidentally picked up one of the men, so got blood on us. Hell, how much I drink? Oh gosh, that guy's back. Uh oh, Mister. <laughs> Glad you joined us again, sir. Morning to. You. Good morning to you. Is it still morning time? Oh yeah, it's early in the morning, wow. All right, so let's go ahead and get a bath. Turns out a con man hustled the Gordon family out of most of all their inheritance. No card. Mm -hmm. Con Bella, man. How can I help you? Well, I hope you aren't planning for any more riffraff with any oh, of those sorry. raiders. They got a lot of respect in this community, even if they can act up out of turn. We admire traditional values here, yes sir. And we respect good manners. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> you sure wolf that down. Yep. Bats, please. You can go take my bath now. So... I'm okay. What time did you start drinking this morning, or did you even stop from last night? <laughs> Those people talking outside. That's actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll just scrub up real quick. We're not gonna do the deluxe bath. I just wanted to get Arthur clean. Would you like help in there? Um, decline. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Thanks. All right, suit yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to clean him up before we go and meet like fancy rich people. I feel like we shouldn't come in there with a bunch of blood on us. So just take a quick bath and then we'll head out. It just says our stamina has increased, so I wonder if we can drink some of that pirate rum. Some brawlers got too nasty in here recently. I had Oops. to throw them out before they caused a funeral. Didn't mean to do uh, that. This. I wanted to see... Yeah, let's just try. Empty place. Yeah, cannot gain experience. All right, so now we're just very... We're a little bit tipsy. <laughs> because your stamina is at max. Okay. So I, I don't know how that works with yeah. the bath. Maybe stamina just lasts longer or something, but our experience is at 100%. I'm not sure. But yeah, now Arthur's a little bit... Last time he got like this, he started singing. <laughs> he looks very loose right now. Poor oldest had a wife to mourn for his life. Three children, hey. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Oh, I missed my favorite part of that song because I was opening the door. I thought he would keep singing. That is not a Pona. All right, maybe I'm feeling it too. This camera is making me feel like maybe... Come on out here. You can make it. You got this. Don't be scared. <laughs> All right. But that cowardly killer that shot... Mr. Miller has laid old Otis in his grave. Yeah! <laughs> I guess we've never been on a horse while, like, intoxicated. Oh my goodness, this is funny. And then we're gonna go see the greys. <laughs> Alright. We'll be, we'll be right as rain in no time. Oh my gosh, he's, like, leaning a little. My goodness. <laughs> Hilarious. You boys don't run much, huh? Go drink some moonshine, you damn louts. What the heck? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. How are we not hitting him? <laughs> All this. I wouldn't hang out by me if Grays are on the hunt. Quit the hell are man. you off to? I got enough problem. I want to know. Leave me alone, damn it. Okay, so he's just gonna run away. All right. Yeah. Oh, there was a cat over there. That was crazy. So what is it? It said guard, but it, he said Braithwaite's. And they were trying to shoot him. Let me see if I can talk to them about it. Slow up now. Nope. Yep. They're too far away. Oh, what I can. Happened? What was that? Who the hell are you, boy? I was just passing through. Don't mean to intrude on your politics. Damn jackass. <laughs> One more thing, fellas. Just a thought. Maybe next time. Take your head out of your ass, and you might see the damn Braithwaite before he hops over. What the hell? Yep. Oh! Ah! oh, damn. Great. Well, now we definitely can't go in there. <laughs> Dang. That was a good one, though, Arthur. That was a good one. You br fried him up. Fried him up. So I'm wondering now, can I just waltz in there and like, oh, they're chasing me down. 
They're chasing me down. Holy. All right. Um, well, we got to wait for them to cool off before we get up in there. Dang. All right. Maybe we can just go back in there and act like nothing Whoa. happened, right? I took like a lap around the farm. <laughs> that was just unfortunate. Unfortunate. I shouldn't have antagonized them. But look at this place. It's beautiful. This is really nice. Let me go see if these guys are done being mad at me. What do you want, boy? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. <laughs> have a word. But I ain't got the time to help. Obliged. Obliged. All right, so that's what the that's what it meant when it said gray. So they're just like waiting for people the of the gray. Um, when we saw that one guy in the bar, he also was named Gray, but it's not his name; it's who he is, a title. Okay. Is it this person? Hello? Hey, can you talk? I look like I can talk. You want a talker? Try Bo Gray. Out by the storehouses. Man won't lift a hand, but sure can move his lips. Okay. <laughs> talk to Bo. Can I ride my horse up in here? Wow, look at this place. There's like a little maze or like a garden maze. Mister, fine morning. This is really cool. I just want to look around the property a little because I don't know if we'll be kicked out or something. <laughs> that must be their barn. This is really nice. Okay. Let's go see whoever Bo Gray is. Is that him? He said he wouldn't lift a finger or something, so I'm guessing that's not him. Alright. I think I might park a pony here. It looks like he's in maybe one of these buildings. There's lots of workers here. Hey there, partner. Good morning. Busy day? Well, if I don't do it, who will? <laughs> well, keep at it. See you around. I'm try to go in here. That is not open. Is that? Oh, okay. I thought it was a church at first, but it looks like another barn, stable, something over there. This place is ginormous. They have so many different places with crops and animals, and it's definitely a nice piece of property here. I right, wonder if he's in here. No. Okay. Well, he's got to be around here somewhere. Is this him? Yeah, I think this is him. Bo. Bo Gray. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. And suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well... Looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? <laughs> Never mind. Aren't the thing is, 
I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaite's. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderous to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry <laughs> for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. A Romeo Juliet situation. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Okay, so they're worse with strangers. So That's hard to luck. believe because your guards just tried to shoot me up on the way here. <laughs> so, okay, we gotta go see. What's her name? Penelope. We also got a letter. Can we read it? No, we just have to deliver it. Okay. So we're going to go deliver it hey, to Penelope. Boy. How far away is their plantation? Okay, so it's like a hip and a scop. Uh, hip, hip and a scop. A uh, jump away. So that's Caliga Hall, owned by the Greys. This looks like just Braithwaite Manor, which is obviously owned by the Braithwaites. Okay, so we're going to go over to the other place. I shall not forget it. Okay, sneak into the ground. So I do have to sneak in. How's Hosea getting information? I'm thinking when this is done, you can fill me in on the goings on around here. Oh, yes, sir. Assuredly. All right, then. It's just, uh, I'm the curious kind. He could be a good one to have on our side if we do this for him. He did say that he doesn't care if if we kill them or if we kill the Braithwaites. He's not, he's not dumb about that part of it. Hey, you better follow that order, right? <laughs> Scarlet Meadows, Lemoyne, fresh milk, dairy, eggs. So just a shipment coming in, shipment going out. They're making lots of money here on this farm. Easy, boy. You okay, boy? All right, so we're going to go check out the next one. Yep. I like the music that's playing right now. Kind of like the hope of love between them. The Romeo Juliet situation. <laughs> Is this already it over here? I just see a large house. Yeah. I think this might be it. Yep. All right, so I have to sneak in there. Can't be seen by the guards. I think is what he was saying. That they're even more vicious than they are in the Grays plantation, so we need to be careful. Am I on their property right now, technically? Obviously don't want to go right up in there. I think that one guy might be a guard. Yep, definitely a guard. I don't see oh there's the gazebo. Okay. We could cut over this way. Oh, there's a somebody. Alright. 
he didn't say anything to us, so I don't think that we're close enough to alarm them just yet. But maybe if we go down this way... Um, that must be the main entrance. Oh, look at this place. They're both just like such huge farms. Alright. You're more likely to be spotted on horseback. Dismount and move quietly. Okay, so I really have to, like, not let them see me. Got it. Wow, this is beautiful with the trees like this. All right, let's hitch a pony right here. I see the gazebo out there in the distance past the fog. So I'm going to sneak through this field over here. But I do see them already. There's like one guy. I thought that was carrying a gun walking that way. I don't think these people really mind, right? They're not going to like yell, are they? Hey, friend. Good morning, fella. Yeah, he's fine. All right. I think he's fine, too. That's not a... Uh, yeah, that's just a worker. Okay. Yeah, these are all just workers. Okay. So we need to just stay clear of... Uh, that guy over there. There's not really anyone back here, right? Oh no, is there more than one gazebo? Because, like, I think that was the one I was looking at. But there's another one over there. And there's none over there. It's kind of looking like it's the one over here, of course. Okay, I see someone on my radar. Okay. I don't know how we're gonna sneak past that guy over there. A little nervous about that one. All right, that guy's turned his back, so I'm gonna kind of like cut up this way a bit. Yeah, because he's just, he's just kind of chilling over there. Okay, this guy, oh, he turned around. Go, go, go. All right. Wow, he's just like not even paying attention. <laughs> he must be zoning out or daydreaming or something. Because he doesn't see anything. I'm going to run past. <gasps> okay. I think we're good. I'm guessing that's her in the gazebo over there. Okay. Made it. Penelope Braithwaite. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for Aww, you. She's pretty. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. 
the rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I. But <laughs> my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Oh my gosh, I can't believe she said that about Ohio. She just completely burned up the state that I moved to last year. <laughs> it's not that bad here. Um, who is her actress? I feel like I, I, I feel like I recognize her voice and her face, but I cannot put my finger on it. I feel like I know her. All right, so we're going to go deliver this. She has a letter to give back to him. Is that what I just, yeah, a love letter from Penelope to Bo. I wish I could read them, but wow. Okay, so they both love each other. I was kind of, sort of planning to come here and have Penelope be like, oh, that bow again. But it is like a true Romeo and Juliet type situation, which kind of actually makes it really beautiful. I can see why they would both think that their, their parents and their elders are stuck in the dark ages because yeah, this is silly. This whole entire family debacle is very, very silly. It is definitely dark ages thinking, but they both have a lot of money. They both probably rival over the same competitors and companies. And I mean, they're a direct threat on their own livelihoods. So that's probably what the big family feud is about. Or maybe there's something else even more that we'll uncover here about about the two of them. But I'm very interested to see how this love is going to turn out. I hope it actually goes well and not anything like the Romeo and Juliet that I know. But let's get the heck out of here. I think we should be okay to just kind of like run along the side here. Didn't see anyone over here. Our map is like so red right now. <laughs> I don't know why it's like this. Oh, it's just like this entire area is sketchy. Got it. All right. We're almost past the entrance area. So I'm just gonna run through the fields here and then we'll go back and see Bo. Tell him that his letter was given and he's probably gonna be excited to get one back. Can't believe she burned up Ohio like that though. <laughs> I came here from Maryland and I honestly loved Maryland a lot, but I got to say that I think my favorite part about moving to a different state is just the fact that, oh, there's someone keeping patrol right there. It's just the fact that when I go to the grocery store, I don't see people from high school that I used to know or run into people that I used to know. It's really nice just kind of like as an introverted soul like I am. I think that's probably one of my favorite parts about about moving. I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> I've literally spent like times in my life where I've hid in a in the back of a CVS because I saw someone from high school and I just didn't want to have that like fake like, "Oh, how are you?" cuz I wasn't I wasn't popular in high school. But it's kind of funny as an adult sometimes people will be like, "Oh, how have you been?" even though they never gave you the time of day in high school. And I just don't really love I don't really love dealing with that. So. I don't mind that we moved here. We moved to be closer to family. So that's a good thing. And where we moved to, there is so much to do here. Will I spend the rest of my days in Ohio? Probably not. It does kind of suck here a little bit. <laughs> but I have enjoyed my time in here so far. 
Um, let's go ahead and eat some food and feed Epona, and we'll head back over to Bell. Yeah, there, boy. There's like a little camp going on over here. Easy. You got the wrong fella. All right, someone's in trouble. I'm going to act fast this time. All right, so there's the guy all like... One more? Maybe two more? One guy's running away. They got me tied up here. Oh no, that's a horse running. Okay. All right, we saved we saved a guy today. We saved one. <laughs> Literally I'm exact a of these men. Exact same scenario. Hey, mister. They Who come out is of nowhere, that? okay? Next thing I was regaining my facilities tied up here. Please cut me free. Okay, let's cut him free. They got me captive. I believe you. I definitely believe you. You probably robbed him. You're free, my friend. You have no idea how thankful I am. You ain't home and dry yet. Run along. I know. I think they hid my things in one of those boxes. Sir, they're yours. <laughs> Might just be a hero, me. Might just be a hero, me. <laughs> All right, let's look around the camp. I see some premium cigarettes right away, which is exciting. And another box. What card did we get? Flora of America? Okay. What kind? Ooh, Oleander Sage. We didn't have that one yet. I like the Flora cards. Hate the word. Love the cards. I'm still waiting to find, like, the cat's ones. I know there's like a whole cat collection and I'm I've been looking forward to getting that one eventually. Um inspect box, okay. Cocaine gum, that's it. Okay. There's some fine brandy. Nice. I think we might just go ahead and drink that one. There's some gun oil. Let's go ahead and clean the carbine repeater and then we can take the gun oil. Nothing in there. What about here? There's some stuff around here. This might be the trunk that he's talking about, maybe? Just regular cartridges. Okay. Not a big find. Okay, so my game crashed <laughs> in the middle of looting, and um, I just got bit by a snake. So I'm not really sure what's going on with my day right now. What do we need? Ginseng or something? Hang on. I'm pretty sure we have just like regular ginseng. I guess we could drink like a health tonic or something, right? Alright, let's just go ahead and do... <laughs> do that one. I can't believe my luck right now. That was awful. My gosh. It like made my hat come off and everything. You bit me so hard. Alright, let's get out of here. So, I noticed that my frames were looking awful. So, I went to go change like... Change some settings. And it crashed my game, so we lost whatever loot 
was in that area, which is very unfortunate. But hopefully we still got to keep that Fauna card. But let's go and see Bo. Let's go see what, what he thinks of this letter. That was just very unfortunate to come right back into the game after it crashing and then <laughs> get bit by a snake. My luck. All right, let's try to cross before the train comes. Easy now. All right, let's go back up in here. It's nice that like one of the places, Caliga Hall, we do not get shot at. I mean, unless we antagonize people, we don't get shot at. <laughs> but like the Braithwaite's, you cannot even step foot in there. Apparently, they'll just they'll just shoot you on the spot. You know me. I'm on official business for the family. All right, come on. I like how we have to like announce every time. All right, let's go find Bo. I wonder if he's in the same spot. Doesn't look like it, no. Because he was, like, over here last time. There is, like, a little horse path back here. But look at this area. Look at how many people are, like, working in the fields. Ah, this is just so cool. The grindstone. There's like a dock with a boat and everything out here. I hope that we get to know the greys and like because we've done this for Bo, maybe we can use some of their amenities. <laughs> like go out fishing on their pier or just kind of like hang out here or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. We've only met the younger, very in love son. We haven't actually met the the main guy in charge here. Looks like he might be over here by the stable. Yeah, or in the stable. I think I just saw him. Okay. Bring him his love letter. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. <sighs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, His take face. it. Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> You'll... Thank you. Arthur. Oh, my God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Oh, that sucks. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. So we're gonna go be a part of the women's suffrage? Wait, what's this letter? Oh, we got rid of it. Okay. What is this? Like a rally or something? Okay. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Okay. Love me a good love story. Here, let me turn my marker off real quick. Just so it's not bothering me. Easy, boy. Calm down. 
I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good <laughs> as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There. Oh, there it there is. There they are. What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope. I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before madam well just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves and i'm sure you'll feel right at home shall we go <clears throat> all right ladies we know our song is a good one mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one yes ma'am let liberty reign <laughs> i love that arthur is doing this right now <laughs> Keepers and daughters, we cook the food and we fetch the water, singing songs of freedom and glory be. Now, now, take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. <laughs> Can I do the cinematic camera on this? Or no, I don't think it lets me. Okay. This is our cry of freedom. Our power is not small. For women's equal liberty, this is the call. Is he waving or is he shooing? Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. <laughs> Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you. Oh, he just right. threw something. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. I feel like some of them are mad, some of them are catcalling. Some of them are clapping. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. This is our cry of freedom, our power is not small. For women's equal liberty, this is the call. Huzzah! This is actually really cool. <laughs> Just a little further, please. Okay. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Okay. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Go home! Shut your mouth! What you the hell is going on? Well, 
ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equals are <laughs> fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair, equal, and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. Sir. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, little... why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Speak harsh about my Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. Yeah, let's uh, get out of here before they start Americans. causing more trouble. We gotta go before they think twice. Yep. Oh, Lord. Let's go. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. <laughs> I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here <laughs> all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure? You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She were right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Interesting. Why has this daughter been missing? Something about her not being right or something? This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins <laughs> are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. <laughs> oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. I like Bo. He's definitely different from his family, but I he has a true heart. He's not mixed up on the politics and money and everything. He just wants to love Penelope. And I think that's beautiful. All right, what is this? This is like an old, he said an old war settlement or, or an, old, an old war station, something. I'm gonna check out this little burnt down house over here. But what an interesting look into who the Greys and the Braithwaites are. That sucks that he has to marry his cousin. That's actually really gross and awful that they think that keeping keeping the family close is what, I don't know. It's just not great. Not a great outlook. That's for sure. 
I'm gonna check up in here real quick. So I think, oh no, it actually did just pop up on my list, something else other than Dutch. Although I think we should go and touch, talk to Dutch first. He's doing something with the sheriff over in the, in the place. But Molly, hmm, Molly needs to speak to you. Interesting. An honest mistake. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go and hang out with Dutch, though. We're going to go to the sheriff's office, go see what he's been... I love how you can just like hear everyone's conversations. <laughs> this is interesting. I don't know if there's anything here or not, but oh, there's like a rat there. Wow, you can see like the craters that were left from bombs. <gasps> is this maybe a dinosaur bone? Oh, dang. I thought maybe we found our first one. I can't believe after all the exploring we've done, I still have yet to find dinosaur bone. Go check this. Fireplace? Ooh, a cigarette card. Where? Oh, it was in the fireplace. It's a dog card. Oh, this is part of the fauna? Really? Fauna, panther, turkey. Have we gotten one of these before? Fauna of North America card set. Wait, so did we find all of the ones that are in that set? Oh no, three of 12, okay. Just kidding. Hang on. Wait, stop. I was trying to... <laughs> I was trying to hold down for the cigarette cards. Okay, so it tells us a checklist if we have found a complete set. And we have not yet. Okay. That's pretty cool that there's a checklist, though. This is honestly pretty crazy. Those are some rabbits. We'll go hunting again one day. Not today, though. I feel like I spend so much time hunting that I never get anything done. So today, I'm focusing. I'm focusing my brain. I'm trying not to do everything that I want to do. Oh, wow. Boulder Glade. Or Bulger, I think that was. Went to Scarlet Meadows, site of the famous battle in the war. All them young lives lost. Yeah, it's Bulger Glade. Okay. Is there anything here? really see anything. I'm gonna go check out this like castle area. Looks like there's also a little mine area. Oh no, this is just like, what are they called? Like bunkers or? I know there's a trench, a trench, yeah. Wow. This is actually really cool that they've added this in the game. <gasps> Damn. Get off him! Jesus! Oh, the snakes today! The snakes! Gosh, and it blew my hat off again. All right, this should be fine, right? Eat herbs, ginseng, counteract the effects. Okay. Dang snake! Problem is, I don't know where it went. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I'm going to shoot that thing with a pistol. Dang snake. Oh, it's a rattlesnake too. I'm not picking it up. I don't do snakes. Sorry. Mm -mm. Nope. Hope we don't need snakes for anything for satchels because I ain't doing it. <laughs> There's no way. 
There is no way. There's somebody out here. There's multiple people out here. They're guarding something. Huh. Well, I think we might go and uh, steal their treasure. Can I hide behind this? No. Need a better cover spot. Maybe this log. All right. Oh, I have no good guns on me. Okay, well. He's running at me. Senseless idiots. Senseless idiots. <laughs> Let's see what they were guarding in here. Something good. They were Lemoyne Raiders. Maybe it was just like their campsite or something. Not sure. Go ahead and loot. Make up for our lost loot today when my game crashed. <laughs> Might even make a little camp here. Abandoned church. Okay. I thought it was like a castle or something. <laughs> Saw an old church. Found it interesting. Not sure why. Okay. Is that oh just like bed rolls okay so yeah they were like sleeping in here can i open this chest no it's like buried okay we can actually just rest by this fire steal their little spot i think we might be able to climb up here Is Epona coming in here? <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything over this way. There's some aged pirate rum again. <laughs> aged pirate rum at this point is only good for Arthur to get him singing. Let's go ahead and clean our pistol. Take the gun oil. Or, sorry, our revolver. Keep calling a pistol today. Nothing in here. Can I jump to that spot? Okay. <gasps> Ooh, cigarette card. Premium cigarettes. In this little bird's nest. <laughs> Ooh, and a coin purse? Nice. Harvey, uh, we already got him today. That's okay. Coin purse and another cigarette card. Steam locomotion locomotive. Do we have this one before? Nope, that was our first time finding it. Nice. Good find. All right, how do I get down safely? Will I get hurt if I... I'm not gonna try. Oh my God. <laughs> that was almost bad. All right. I'm gonna go loot this guy over here and then we'll probably like take a sleep. 
see if there's anything down here real quick. Ooh, there's a box. <gasps> Large jewelry bag. Let's go. Very nice. Hi, Epona. I think I'm still being poisoned. I don't think that tonic helped me. So let's try to find... I thought I had some ginseng, but I guess I used it all. Maybe that will help. I don't know. I could have sworn I had ginseng. We'll see if my health keeps going down. I thought that if we just drank like a, a miracle cure, it would help. All right, let's go ahead and take a sleep. And then when we get up in the morning, we'll go and visit Dutch in the town. We should probably get some more meat too at some point today. Because, yep, we don't have any. I can't just, like, sleep by the fire. Craft, cook. Oh, okay. I can't sleep here. Abona. Oh, God. All right. I'll go the other way. Well, we'll just make our own little campfire then. Was there something in here? Oh, there's another lockbox hidden in here. Ooh, money. More money. Wow, a 20? Another 20? Whoa. I think we found this. There was 60 bucks in there. Okay. Oh, there's another one too. Money. Pocket watch. Jewelry. Nice. We have a lot to bring back to our camp. I'm guessing I can't just like sleep in someone's sleeping bag, right? No. Uh -uh. All right. So let's go over here and I'm actually going to brush a Pona. I think that I see some carrots over here. Are these carrots? No. All right. I'm going to take care of a Pona and then... I'll go ahead and make a camp. Need some brushing and feeding. Uh, come on, boy. Okay. Had a nice rest. We made a tent this time. We didn't make Arthur sleep outside in the elements. <laughs> so let's go ahead and make some coffee and we'll be on the way. I think I see some... I thought maybe that was time, but I don't know. We'll pluck it when I'm done making some coffee. No, that doesn't look like time. I don't actually know what that could be. Chug our first cup of coffee for the morning. <laughs> All right, let me go see what this is. Oh, it's tobacco, okay. Ooh, is that time over there? This might actually be time. Oh no. These might be carrots. Yeah, nice. We'll pick some carrots for Epona. I love the mornings because the sun, the game, this game does such a good job at showing sunlight through, through things and showing sunbeams. Like, this game definitely makes it feel like it's morning time, feel like it's evening, feel like it's night. It's... Very, very good with the ambiance. All right. I'm just gonna pour another cup of coffee because I'm enjoying the atmosphere here and then we'll get going. 
I might scan for a little bit more herbs around us, but I don't really see much. Okay, let's tear the camp down. Get some breakfast in us and go off and see Dutch. See what he's up to at the sheriff station. So we're like right by the Braithwaite Manor. No wonder why he brought us here. He probably hangs out here pretty often because it's near her. This whole love story is very sweet. I am enjoying it. I have a feeling it's probably not going to turn out well just because the families, they are so stuck in their ways, but... I don't know. You never know. Maybe they'll run off together. Come on now, boy. I don't think there's any way that the family will just let it happen. Idiot. But you never know. <gasps> Is Whoa, that an alligator? Easy. Or are those just rocks in the water? Oh, those are just rocks in the water. Okay. <laughs> I've been waiting to see my first alligator. Now that I know that they're a thing and we're by the swampy areas. Whoops. Oh my gosh. I just want to say good morning. Hey, mister. He's out here fishing. What's that over by the lake? It looks like a uh, a chest or something. Slow it up. Oh, it's nothing. It's just a crate. Probably like a washed up crate. Okay. Let's get on. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, no. I think I found that... I think I found that guy that is murdering people. Look, it says, Behold. I wonder if this will be the last one, then. So gross. Oh. Jeez. Oh. Where's the head with the map in it? My gosh. Oh. There it is. Making a point with you. Huh. Jeez. Oh my god, do they have to have the head right there? They're showing a combination to a safe. Six three four three two. Can Can you find is that what it was? Can find we have to look at the other ones. Uh, wrong button. Piece together map. Oh, we have it like fully now. That's cool that it does that for you. All three pieces of the map have been collected. Use the map to locate the killer's hiding place. So it's in a house somewhere over a bridge. So that's why the map pieces didn't make sense. Because it was leading to the ultimate location, this safe. It's probably in that cellar. Can you find me? Oh, All right. I'm not excited for whatever we're going to find in this safe, but it's apparently a place over a bridge, run-down area, has a little chimney on it. 
and an outside shed. Okay. Okay. And I'm guessing it's not going to, like, tell us on the map. It never does. It never really lets us know where it is, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. <laughs> Usually, I stop in at random houses that I find, so... Get the heck out of here. I wonder what's going to be in that safe. It's obviously not going to be the person, right? Creepy. I know, Pona. We're leaving. I just saw it, like, out of the corner of my eyes hanging there. By that... That's a crazy looking tree. Yeah. Mm. All right. I think this was the place that we were just at, right? Yeah. The old war place. Yeah. Hey! Over here! Ooh. Over here! Easy, easy. Oh, it's another prisoner. Please, friend. You gotta help me out here. Come on, please. I'm about done here. Mm. So we are going to the sheriff's office. We could just turn this guy in. But the last prisoner gave us a tip on a home robbery. Or I think it was like a side business or something like that. I don't get these shackles off soon. I'm a goner. So. Please. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. I guess I'll help him. I could help him Everyone and, deserves and then a take him chance. back. Come on. Please. There you go. Oh. oh. Thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or... Well, you know, I might have something of interest. A fellow on the chain line jawed on about this little homestead owned by some lonely drunk. Yeah, he keeps a lot of money stacked away. Dead south of Rhodes, on the river. You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. I think I'll let him go. I don't know. We're going to the sheriff's office. What the hell? Okay, now. I think we're going to take him in. We're going to take him in. Oh, you... still. Sorry, sir. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> I'm going to make you regret this, you dumb piece of shit. He probably doesn't have anything on him. He's a prisoner. Now, I'm just going to check your pockets. One cent. How did he even get that one cent? All right, let's pick him up. We're going to take him in. Here we go. Although it could be bad because Dutch might be in the place, so it'll kick off the mission like as we put him in. This might be bad. We're still gonna take him in anyways. We'll see what happens. Look at the floor <laughs> for a bit. <laughs> Time to go, boy. He gave us a home robbery tip and then <laughs> Okay, does the home robbery show up on the map? Because I feel like the Aberdeen pig farm, it definitely did not. It definitely did not pick up anything on the map. Yeah. And I don't see anything either. So we'll probably just have to find it eventually. Problem is, I forget what he said. Um, hang on. I think it's this button. No. Nope. Okay. I don't know how to get to that menu. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But let's go take him into the police and see what they see what they say about it. Technically, we're lawmen now, according to Dutch. So I feel kind of sorry for him. He's being nice. He hasn't said a single word to us. That bird was so loud. Oh, 
damn. These yeah. damn things. Oh, that's the doctor's office. I guess we could have pitched there. Oh, there's a hitch and post over here. Okay. We're about to carry this guy inside of there and kick off this mission. I'm nervous. You can rest now, boy. I'll see what happens. This is why my game is probably so bugged. Cause I like I spend too many times in areas I'm probably not supposed to be in, doing things I'm not supposed to do. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I could just leave him here on the porch. Let's leave him. He'll probably reset, right? Let's just see what happens. Of course, of course. Oh, okay. oh and here is my <laughs> dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. He's we drunk. Did. Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. <laughs> Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Oh, my now, God. Listen, sir. <laughs> there is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. <laughs> Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill Got and I will follow. All right. Climb on up. Our prisoner is go. gone. I had a feeling that was going to happen, but that's okay. Archibald. I can't How believe. Are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. All right, so before we get further, and I don't want to cut off the conversation, I think it's absolutely insane that Dutch thinks this is a good plan to put ourselves into the situation where we're sheriff deputies. Are you kidding me? Just because we're using a different ma name doesn't mean that our drawing of our face won't be brought down to this area. I think it's a really, really, really crazy idea because... The sheriffs are the first one to get those bounties. They're the first one to get that on their radar. And we are so closely tied into them that once they realize who we actually are, it'll just, it'll come down on us even faster. And I, I'm worried about this. Sure. Let's see what happens, hey. but I'm worried. Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We Also, that little gypsy town back there where we used the fence is probably the gypsy caravan that Trelawney was talking about, for sure. I don't think he actually called it gypsy. It just kind of reminds me of gypsy caravans because of the colors and 
all of that stuff. Maybe they actually are gypsies. I don't know. But Trelawney was talking about a caravan back um, near the town, and that was definitely the place. Rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. Oh. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that <laughs> Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold that these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Bill. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? Oh, yeah. Let me get my guns off of Pona real quick. I don't know what's about to be going down, but... Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, no, I made camp. Come on, mister. I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Arthur. He's just like, all right. We're just going to make a camp right now. This must have happened recently. Dang. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Oh, I shiny use my dead eye. Deputy, get over here, please. Can I loot this guy? It's so funny that we're being called deputy. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Okay. So it doesn't look like we can take anything. I mean, we are like deputies, so we need to act like it. Uh, let's get back on with him. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Ride to the swamp. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Bear right again here. Would drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, <laughs> this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. It's really interesting hearing, like, the perspective from an actual lawman. 
that thinks we're a fellow lawman is just it's very interesting <laughs> especially with arthur like agreeing like yep them tax abiders <laughs> this is funny to me where are we here we are so what was i saying something about the braithwaite i think even saying that word makes me sick. <laughs> now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. All right. Unfortunately, my horse is now out of the area, and I only have two of my revolvers on me. So we're just going to have to make it work. What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. <laughs> my aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, oh my. Well, the way I <laughs> actually let my friend here decide, he doesn't have your fine way with words, <laughs> but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Uh, I'll take left, I guess. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Okay. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Okay. Got it, Deputy Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Bill's gonna go for that guy over there. See one by the bridge over there. Yeah, there's one like in the back of that thing over there. All right. Is Bill going for the one in the caravan or the uh, the caravan? I have that word on my brain. In the wagon over here. Other one's just like watching. Uh, okay, you go Think ahead. You take this one, Bill. Yep, go With get him. Pleasure. Put him. Oh, probably in the. Uh, we rode in on a police thing. What's he doing? He's just gonna wait. <laughs> oh, like you're done now? Okay, so I guess the next one's up on, up to me. Knock out the remaining moonshiner without being spotted. Okay. Is that uh? That's Dutch. Yep, they got their people. So it's just me. I need to be getting my person too. Everyone's like, we're waiting on you, Arthur. Go pick out your person. <laughs> Deal with the last one. Get him to the wagon. Okay, got it. All right, this is the last one, right? I should probably go around this way. There's more men over there now. Oh no, that's a tree. Okay. All right. Knock out the remaining moonshiner. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's hog tie him, pick him up, take him. Look at this moonshine business. This is actually like legit. It's pretty nice. There is so much moonshine here. I love how you can actually see it being made. 
All right, let's get back. Look at that house over there. Add him to the pile, Arthur. <laughs> the pile. There you go. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, <laughs> so. You're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, uh, um... It's even funnier because it was definitely Arthur's fault. Years ago, they was the finest family around. A thousand acres or more, 300 slaves, and, well, decadence crept into their way of living. Decadence and debauchery. Kind of like in England, which is why they cut the king's head off. And at the same time, the Grey family came from Scotland recently, maybe 120 years ago. And they challenged the Braithwaites. And over time, a feud developed. Uh, with the Greys being uh, right and proper in pretty much everything, and the Braithwaites being uncivilized and, and, and English in their manners, if you know what I mean. And so it has gone on like this for years. Please tell me you're almost done, Arthur. I'm sorry, sure. I, wanted, I wanted to hear about why they Just had a second. feud. <laughs> I was eavesdropping. All right, plant dynamite, got it. In the distillery. RT to place the dynamite without igniting it. Okay. Um, we should be fine with just one, right? I mean, this is highly flammable stuff. I ignited it. I ignited it. Got it. All I have is my revolver. There was a guy. Yep. Bill got him. Two more. That was too damn close. Look There's out, actually another one coming. Yep. He's down. Good job, Bill. Could pick up this carbine repeater. The next guy. Let's clear him out. And now you got to try that again. Shit. I will kill you. He's still alive. Dang. Oh, he is. You're right, Bill. You're right. Come on, Bill. Dang. Okay, he's down. I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Okay. Fine by me. I'm just gonna raid this area real quick. That was nuts. They all just like came out of the woodwork. Over here. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. What did he think was gonna happen when he blows up an entire operation? Like, I'm sorry, but that's Sheriff.
He's just not really thinking. Not really thinking. Arthur looks so funny with his little sheriff star. Right, let's see if we can get in here. Nope. Anything in here? Wow, this place is like bone dry. There is nothing to be had in here. I'm just gonna loot these guys and head back towards Dutch. Even that wagon's like all tattered up. But we got an inside scoop on why the families are actually feuding. And it's pretty interesting. The Braithwaite's are like heathens that came into a lot of money by, you know, doing things not as, not as normally, I guess is a way to put it. And the Greys have been here for a while. And got upset that they were tramping on their land and it makes total sense. I feel like the Braithwaite's would kind of be like Dutch's dream if we had a lot more gang members. We had a lot of men and we were out just like conning big operations, moonshine operation. This seems like it's right up Dutch's alley. All right, I do see a trunk over here, so. There might be some looting to be had in this area after all. Maybe some bourbon over there. Yep, can't take it though. Yeah, here's a trunk. Can I not open this trunk? Oh, that stinks. Okay. I guess they don't really want you just like out here <laughs> taking taking stuff. They just want you to loot bodies and leave. All right. We'll loot this one and go and see Dutch. Yeah, cause there's like nothing out here. Man, the swamp vibes out here. It's pretty cool. I feel like I'm in Louisiana. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. <clears throat> ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quiet. Yeah, like what? <laughs> Come on, you degenerate, no good, white okay. trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on. You ride with me. Okay. So we're just going to sell it now, Should right? Sell it for ourselves? Yes. Mm. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Yep. Got trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I Wait, think what's they happening? were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask My horse too many stopped. questions, so neither should we. Oh, I no. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort. What's happening? Oh. 
deputized and hiding in plain sight. Oh my gosh. These law, man. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean? Okay, that young was weird. Oh, Dutch. I can only I'm jump. As strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Get off. Yeah. I can't race. My horse is like. I'm gonna hit Japona real quick. Hang on, can well I? Then, deputy. I can't. Here, just what hitch. Now, I can't. I don't understand why I get so many bugs in this game. I get so many. But also, there's a turtle over here. I saw it, and I was going to study it. Ooh, a snapping turtle. There's a snake out there, too. Stop messing around and mount back up. All right. Hopefully, Epona is better now. Nope. Still doing it. Let's make this interesting. The silence is oh, that really stinks. I wonder if I can just like restart from here. Just tell him, suit yourself. I'll see you back there. No, I wanted to race you. My horse. Oh. All right. Well, we're going to head back to camp ourselves. Um, we are all the way up here by Albert Mason and Black Bell, so I think I might actually just make a camp somewhere over here so that when I sign in next episode, we can immediately just go over and hang out with Albert Mason and Black Bell since we're already up here. But it looks like there's actually a bait shop here too. A Lagrasse woman has set up a fishing stall at this small lakeside shack, offering an impressive range of bait and tackle. That's actually really cool. We're going to have to check out that one um, next time. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we can just go up by whatever this is over here. Is that where we just were? I think that might be where we just were. Merkin's Wall water oh this is yeah fishing spot here apparently i think this is where we just were in that area there so let's go see what this little shack is over here and we'll make a camp and sign out for the day look at the journal I hey, hey. Help me. Someone help me. it's happening help. Help. oh my god did he get bit he got bit, didn't he? You okay, mister? Please! Y'all gotta help me out! He got bit. Please. I've been bitten by a snake. Yeah. I need medicine. Drink this. Oh, you need to help. Suck. Is that medicine? Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. <laughs> uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No more. I wonder why some of the trees are Just like... stay the hell away from snakes, all right? Bad. Like, they have red on some of the trees. Is that on purpose or is that just something that happens maybe it's to like mark the path but i don't know Easy there. is that the snapping turtle it is a snapping turtle is it gonna hurt abona There we go. Man, I feel like I need to be careful out here. There's all kinds of like snapping turtles. Oh, it's a frog. American bullfrog. I wonder what we do to kill it. Small game. Oh, I use this. Okay. We definitely need to make more bows next time. That is something on my list. I need to make more bows for the small. Small bows, small game arrows. Oh, 
But let's see what's in this rundown shack real quick. Is someone in here? There's nothing. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Ooh, ground coffee, nice. Canned fruit. This is actually like pretty nice on the inside. Assorted biscuits or crackers, nah. Vegetables, urban, okay. Predator bait, I'll go ahead and take that. Herbivore bait, cover scent, we have enough of that. Well, whoever lives here is very neat and tidy, which I feel like is not the usual that we've seen in some of these houses. For the most part, they're just like all gross and run down and littered in, but this one is actually pretty nice. I'm going to go check this carriage over here. Nothing. No. Okay. There's also like a. <gasps> God. God damn it. Jeez, I am so tired of being bitten by snakes today. I am like so tired of it. I'm so. I hate it. It scares me so much every single time. But look at all the fish in here. All right, let's drink some, let's drink some health potion and I'm just gonna. Yeah, I think that should help, right? And eating some beef, probably. Eat some fish. I just need to get out of here. I'm so tired of all of the snakes in this area. I cannot. Shoo. Okay, all right. I was gonna go like camp out here, but I don't know. Are we close to a town or something? I mean, I guess we could stay in that house, but I I don't like it here enough to want to sleep here. So maybe we'll just like cut across this way. Cause I know that over in this area, it's not as swampy. So let's just go over there and then we'll make a tent, like a camp over that way. Cause it's honestly awful over here. My goodness. All right. It's crazy how like you cross a bridge and it's literally, it's not yep. as swampy. <laughs> All right, we can make a little, we can make a little camp here. What house is this? Oh, it's part of that town that got yeah, run down from the disease. All right, okay. I'm gonna make a camp right here. We'll call it a day. <laughs> oh man. All right, we have a nice safe camp over here. Not sure what I just heard, but <laughs> let's flip through our journal and See if there's anything new in here. It's an old church. Not sure why you found it interesting. Found yet another body. Oh, the turtle that we found. <laughs> Some maniac is killing these people for sport. I guess I'm going to have to pay him or her a visit. Yeah, and that's where we found it. The deputy sheriff. This whole thing. 
Finally, we have achieved a state of true insanity. I'm glad that Arthur agrees. For the first time in my life, I'm a deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe de deputy working for the alcohol drenched Sheriff Gray, pursuing some moonshiners. Dutch is convinced that this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family, the Grays, ex Scots, is warring with another proud English family, the Braithwaite's, like some long running dispute from the border country. It's definitely a messy situation. Now I understand a little bit more about the feud though, it definitely makes sense. It's not just two, well, it is two well off families that, you know, are stomping on each other's money, but there's a lot more behind it than just that. Apparently there's gold or women or something at the root of this. And if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we are so deep in the swamp and so entirely lost ourselves. I hope it will take the Pinkertons and their long, and their like a long while to find us. We shall see. In the meantime, a new career path in law seems to await. Seems like amongst our other perils, a gang called the Des Moines Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. It's true. Yeah, we have the Lemoyne Raiders, we have the Braithwaites, we have the Greys, and the Greys and the Braithwaites have been here for hundreds of years, according to that sheriff. So it's kind of, it's, it's not even kind of, it's very naive of Dutch to think that we can just waltz in here and get to the gold or the women or whatever is at the root of all of this and steal it out from underneath of them. I'm sure that Dutch is very smart. I feel like he gets a lot of his ideas from things that he reads from his books, but I don't think anyone is smart enough to come in here after the family has been established for hundreds of years and think that you can get away with robbing the families blind. Especially knowing that people like Lil Moin Raiders are out here, and they're so much more well-established than our gang. They're picking up people and recruiting people, and it just seems like everyone else, everyone else's gang, even the Braithwaites, are so much more organized, and it's silly. It's, it's a boy's dream to think that we can come and just wreck it all for ourselves. I don't, I don't know, especially with such a large price on our heads already. Who is that? And why are they just staring at us? Sir? Okay. Maybe he's like broken down or something. It's the, uh, it's the same person that we saw outside of the Gray's Manor loading up on some stuff, but okay. Anyways. I'm going to sign off for the day. I'm really excited to do more of the main questing next time. But since we're in this area, we're definitely going to do Albert Mason and Black Bell's missions right when we pop in next episode. And from there, probably go and speak back with probably Molly to continue on with the main questing. Or we might just get wrapped up in everything around this area. I know that I would really like to start... Focusing on some legendary animals too. So maybe sometime soon I'll actually take an episode out to focus on legendary animals for the beginning of it. It could be next episode since we will be doing other side quests, but I'm honestly really intrigued in this whole family drama. What's going to happen with us being a deputy and I'm starting to feel the story, the main story pick up that it's keeping my attention more than anything else. So we'll see where it goes next episode and I will see you all there. Bye everyone.